than me. Lead. Lead. Cause this slow hawk ain't working out on TV. Hey, welcome to the chill spot. And I have Lori back with me. Yay, I'm You've back. You've been gone. It's been a long time. <laughs> I'm glad to have you back. I've been out since CNA Fest. You have? It's my first show back. Yeah, you've been very busy. I haven't been sick. I've been in Michigan working, 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 working with Drake, your former yes. co-host. Yep, I miss Drake. I know you do. He <laughs> told me all about how you called him, by the way. <laughs> What's this about Lori going on the show? <laughs> I'm like, well, I did make I thought, me feel good. Well, I no. really wasn't complaining. I just said, okay. Have you seen this new promo? <laughs> Is this forever? <laughs> What's this? Lori and Karen. It's supposed to be Drake and Karen. Is this going to be forever? I did because that, I think that aired before actually you and I talked. Yeah, probably. So I'm so. like, yeah. you didn't want to work with no We more? always, we always uh, <laughs> Anyway, I'm glad to be back. I miss I'm being in the studio. I'm holding this up like I'm <laughs> so, uh, cheering, but uh, glad to be back in the studio. Glad to be back at the office and uh, see yep. some of the the team. The team. We've been uh, pretty busy up there in Michigan, but Have it's a uh, it's a lot of fun, but hard work. So yeah. anyway, um, I noticed at CNA Fest when you were talking about everything, the programs you were doing up there, a lot of CNAs were on their edge, really looking at it. We've heard a lot you of uh, we've heard a lot from people. Now I warned them at conference that what we're doing in Michigan, the Enclave Principle, is uh, is something that's going to take a lot of facilities by shock because right. it's so expensive. But mm -hmm. if it's the solution to the CNA crisis, it is the solution. So. That's We're right. excited. I want to give a shout out to Villa Healthcare, by the way, up in Skokie, Illinois, for being uh, mm -hmm. uh, one of the first, uh, actually Yay. the first, to commit to it in all of their properties. So we will Good. be um, we will be doing the Enclave Principle, where we create a distinct CNA department, and it is ran by a CNA and the certified preceptors. And it is incredible. So far, Good. so great. Good. And uh, we look forward to a lot more. Good. So well, what's up for today? Well, we're gonna, today actually starts National World Day of Bullying Prevention. I've been called a bully a time or two. I have too. Have you? Yeah. Ugh. I've been told that because of my size that I made a lot of CNAs feel uncomfortable because I overpowered them. But I don't know what my issue is, but I don't think I'm a bully. <laughs> Did we know that the do my dog was in here this morning? I thought it was Rocco's very Rocco's on the set. <laughs> oh, boy, I did not know that until he just made a little noise. Yeah, so. I thought it anyway, was Anyway, bullying, I, yes. I'll tell you what. I have about had it. You know, bullying was always the thing. And uh, I kind of stood up for the underdog at school. I don't know if you did, but... Uh, I, it, well, I did and I didn't because uh -oh. sometimes I kind of felt, you know, when you're in high school, like you kind of deserved it. Now, when it comes to my little sister, it's like, go ahead, just have at her. She oh, deserves she it. she deserved it? <laughs> well, now, true bullying, I don't know. I can't say that it ever happened to me. I remember one time I had a tall girl like you in junior <laughs> high that was after me a few times, and I remember one time taking a swing at her and she held her books up and I and you punched I the book. hit the books and about broke mm -hmm. my hand and it was quite an ordeal I, my mom come flying up there wanting to take the principal take the apart principal. but back to the whole bullying prevention you're uh, they're probably wondering why we're even discussing this on the chill spot but it has everything to do with CNAs um, yeah, exactly I see where you're mm -hmm. going with this um, we have all heard um, we eat our young um, you know, we take bets on how long the new CNAs are going to last. Um, so today we're asking you to stop and just, just think about a few um, things. And I have a few questions I'm going to ask you. Are you tired of working short? Are you tired of all the call-ins? Are you tired of not getting your requested days off? In many cases, your vacation. And are you tired of mandates? If you have answered yes to any of these questions, I have one more for you. 
do you feel that if we support the new CNAs coming into our our facilities, that maybe this would and could change um, everything? You know, I mean, if we could welcome them with open arms and smiles, let them hear it in our voices. Hey, Lori, you know, welcome to our facility. Is there anything I can do to help you? You know, let me know. Mm -hmm. You know, um, well, it's, you know, the, it's a good, I'm glad you connected it to CNAs because I see it all the time when I'm out in the field. Um, we maybe don't recognize it as bullying as we think of on the school playground or on the internet or whatever. They're, you know, at least back in the day, we might get bullied on the playground, but right. when you got home, you were safe. Right. And in this day of social media, I think you're anything but safe. Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, I saw a little gal on Shark Tank, uh, 16 years old the other day, and she had created a app that she program coded herself, and it's called Rethink. Hmm. So you can put, you can buy it, and if you're getting ready to send a mean text like "You're so stupid," <laughs> before you hit send, a, a square pops up and it says Rethink. Are you Good. sure you want to post this? And they say it has a 90% change rate because if you just have somebody take a little pause, that they'll be more inti more inclined to re redo it than to post it as is. So, um, you know, there's so many things we could do with this bullying. I love the questions you asked because, number one, we treat people poorly. I hate the term eat our young. Uh, it sounds rather disgusting to me, but the whole art of doing poor training and throwing people out there, uh, you know, to see what they can do, see what they're made of, that's ridiculous. Exactly. If we love our residents, we're going to need to train everybody like to love our residents as well, or else we are not going to be successful. And I, exactly. can, I maintain, you know, I ask all the time our audience, who suffers most when we work shorthanded and everybody hollers the residents mm -hmm. because they're programmed to. But if we're short a couple of call-ins or say, it's the CNAs that are suffering. Exactly. Because they're doing above and beyond to, so the residents don't suffer. Anyway, exactly. we need every uh, CNA and caregiver we can find that is good and compassionate. And so I would say, let's stop throwing each other under the bus. Exactly. Because, and if we want our professional profession, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's got a tongue twister to grow. Um, you know, we need to help guide our younger CNAs because, you know, these younger CNAs are the ones that's going to be taking care of you and I one of these days in a nursing home. Well, the bullying of any kind is just um, kind of disgusting and it sickening is. all it in is. all. And it, it says is. a lot about the bullier yep. uh, or the bully, I guess yep. it is. It the does. Bully. It does. Uh, there's something wrong with somebody that has to bully someone else. They're, they're small themselves. They're feeling small. Right. Something. But uh, it happens exactly. a lot. And um, we all need to stand up to it. So today, and um, I'm not going to say for the rest of the month of October forever. So from today until forever, just stand up, do the right thing, and stop um, stop all the bullying of our CNAs. And um, yeah, stop <laughs> the bullying! Stop the bullying! Oh. I'm going to have to blow you, you out. You have to blow there me out. Yep. I love this little thing, but i got to get some more props because I'm going to knock you in the head with this sooner or later. So just anyway. do the right thing. Um, if you have come across um, any bullying in your facility and you need some um, advice, you know, reach out to the board of directors, reach out to Lori, reach out to any of the other staff members, and we'll, we'll help you get through this. And uh, remember. Absolutely. Yeah. You can find me, private message mm -hmm. me on Facebook. I will yeah. say if I don't respond right away, you just know I'm a traveling fool and, <laughs> and working like crazy on your behalf. But if you'll be patient with me, I'd love hearing from you. Yep. So uh, since your first day back on the show, I'll let you Do I get it. to close it you out? You get to close it. Well, I'm glad to be back. I hope you all are excited that I'm back and I'll wake up a little bit more. This is a early morning chill spot and... Uh, 
I drove about 16 hours last uh, weekend, so uh, I yeah. am uh, going to get fired up here if I'm not already, <laughs> and I look forward to the rest of our weeks of shows, and until we meet again, you. keep caring, keep sharing, <laughs> and you matter. I'll get my timing down better later, Corinne. <laughs>